the standards used to say that half the, at least half the coursework of a business undergrad had to be outside the business school. So they were trying to force the rest of the schools to be like us. But then they decided they didn't want to do that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, there is no specific process to look at the credentials of arts and science faculty. As a practical matter, um, a team wouldn't have enough time to do that, you know, because their faculties are almost always bigger than ours. And uh, how, do you, how do you get their, them to cooperate in putting together that kind of information? So you're right, nobody looks at that. And I don't think they will. <laughs> The original 50% um, rule, you know, 50% have to be outside the business school, um, was dropped because we because the we were going more international, and um, the, the the countries where there are three-year degrees, then um, the emphasis was different, where the more the liberal arts stuff came in the um, in the high school. Uh, situation, so there was less in the three-year degree, so that that was dropped from the standards. I have another question, which is related to uh, not passing accreditation. So, when schools embark on the process, there's a time frame within which to align their their standing with the criteria. Are there schools? I imagine there must be schools that are unable to do so. So what happens to the schools afterwards? Uh, what is the option for reapplying? Is there a timetable? Is there a residence period? A period? <laughs> uh, as you move through, through the process, there's a lots of uh, people reading your materials, lots of checks and balances. And if um, what we try to do uh, to our utmost is that you don't if you we think you're not going to make it, you will be advised to withdraw. Uh, and that does happen. We do advise um, schools to withdraw, possibly a couple a year, two, three a year, which is really very small, but nevertheless it happens. Um, if at the end of that, those three years uh, with the initial accreditation committee, if you haven't implemented your plan, fully, um, I mean we would say you haven't implemented your plan and you would not be invited to apply for accreditation. Now generally if you move forward to accreditation and a visit team comes, there still is an option, there still is a situation where you can be deferred. Um, that deferral is for one year only when you would be asked to remedy the situation. It's, it's very, it will be very focused, the issue will be very focused on usually one standard or maybe two or, or possibly a situation where it's one standard but it has a somewhat of a ripple effect to other standards. Uh, so you could get a deferral and you could actually not be accredited at the end of that year. It is extremely rare for that to happen. Usually schools withdraw when we advise them to withdraw. And that's a consultative role. There really is uh, the motivation to want to help the school make it. Yes. And if they... <coughs> process is showing that the school is really facing uh, insurmountable difficulties, then they'll be advising us to how to respond to that to uh, provide the opportunity to gain in the future. Well, actually, maybe the better question would be, if the school were advised to withdraw, what is the option then to reapply? What happens oh, you, with the PC yeah. paid and so forth? Um, you can uh, reapply. Um, uh, I have to. Ch I think you, maybe you have to step out for at least a year. You can't immediately reapply. Um, you sort of need to regroup <laughs> and then come back in. I, and I think there is a stated period. Yeah, I think um, it's a year. one or two years. Yeah. Uh, to and yes, you can come back. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and I would say it's important to point out that you know, you know the attitude of ACSB is they want the school to be accredited. So they're going to be very accommodating, helpful in getting you through the process, even if there's a few hiccups on the way. And the same is true with 
reaffirmation. So if you come up with reaffirmation and it's not going to work out, and you get put on continuing review, again, you know, AACSP is trying to work with the school. It's a very rare school that loses accreditation. Incidentally, the uh, thing about the uh, liberal arts core, that's one of the things that some schools have um, applied problem solving to meet their deployment requirements. Uh, for example, uh, computers, instead of having it in the business school, it could be in engineering or somewhere else and they provide it. Statistics, it could be provided by your faculty or it could be done by the math department. Um, so there, sometimes it provides an opportunity to uh, give you some help in meeting your uh, deployment uh, requirements. 